Flavor-infused vodkas have been a popular cocktail option for quite a few years now, and now some new flavors are emerging, and one is made right here in Florida. Brand Ambassador Fallon Stacy is here to tell us about Mystic Hemp Vodka. So this sounds, should we be worried that we're <laughs> <laughs> drinking hemp vodka this morning? It's safe and it's totally legal. Safe and legal. <laughs> yes, uh, hemp is not, is not cannabis. It's not the same thing, correct? That's right. Yes. The CBD is derived and there's no THC. Okay. That's probably a question that you get a lot when, uh, when you find out that it's from hemp. Yes. S and, mm -hmm. So can, what's the flavor profile difference? Can you taste a difference or what would be the appeal? So basically the appeal would be it's more healthy. It's a healthier choice to drink. And you have a good time as well. So. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, do people really drink vodka to be healthy or to really enjoy themselves, well, to make life better? I feel like people are starting to notice more about their health, yeah. take, take control of their health in their own hands. And so sometimes when you want to have a drink, you feel guilty. Well, this mm -hmm. vodka, you can drink and be guilt-free and know that it's actually good for you because it contains... CBD oil and the hemp seeds as well and that's nutritious for your body and it's derived from non-GMO corn and the hemp okay. seeds as well. It's very clean wow. down to the extracts. So I'm familiar with hemp seeds. I keep them on a shaker and have for years on my desk mm -hmm. at work and we also keep them on our table along with the salt and pepper. Yes. Home. I love them. Do with them. Sprinkle them on everything. Okay. It's such a great source of protein but I'm sure they're, you know some other nutritional ten, benefits. It's 10 grams of protein per serving for these little seeds, and they're wow. super nutritious. I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I love the idea that vodka is now going to be a health food. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I appreciate what you mean as far as I know some people cannot have vodka derived from potatoes, or they can't have it derived mm -hmm. from corn, so this is a nice alternative. And it's yeah. gluten-free, yes. it's derived from corn, so. Oh, great. And a lot of people don't know that vodka is not gluten-free. So a lot of them are made from potatoes, and mm -hmm. so this is something that you can really sort of elaborate on yeah. your being really, really healthy for your That's martini. Right. Yes. So, so walk us through what we have today. So today we have a shot straight up. It's just chilled, so you can. Okay. <laughs> well, it is Thursday, so. Yes. <laughs> and it's Ooh. five o'clock somewhere. It smells like it's flavored already. It smells mm -hmm. sweet. It yeah. has a slight it vanilla. It does. It tastes sweet. Slight vanilla. It does, little and bit not of as vapory, I know, as some others. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That is delicious. That is vodka. That tastes yes. like a martini already mm -hmm. mixed. Mm -hmm. It yeah. almost tastes like coconut. Yeah, that yeah. does yeah. have a flavor. Like a hint of coconut. It's yeah. really good. And this makes many cocktails different. What's your anything favorite? you can imagine. Well, I'm on this berry kick, so I'm like in this <laughs> berry martini made with this. Oh, oh good. Yeah. It's berry season. Is this, mm -hmm. and, all right, so we Fresh do have a berries. martini here. Is, what do we have here? This is a lemon drop martini. Okay. Oh. All right. Very common. A little light as we're getting into summer. Yes. Please I love do. that this Cheers. is um, made in Florida. <laughs> I know Cheers that that's one, help. you know, as we try to shop local and support local, even in some of our indulging habits. It's, it's nice to know that it's made right here in our state. Now yes, our whole is. table can be local. <laughs> exactly. <Right? laughs> exactly. It's that whole mm. farm to table, farm to glass. <laughs> mm. What do we think? I, listen, it you know me. Good. This it is my good. drink of choice in terms and of cocktails is vodka. I only drink for taste, so mm. it tastes really good to me. Right. Yeah. It's right. a uh, uh, essence, <laughs> too. Mm -hmm. Before mm -hmm. you even sip it, some beautiful essence that you feel. Mm. Is, this, um, is this a fairly new brand that is launched? Yes, it's brand new. It's only in a few liquor stores and bars right now, so we're just starting out. Oh, and, and right here on the Sun Coast, from, yes. from South County all the way up through, uh, through Manatee. Yes. Oh, that's great. And, and you do some good deeds. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. We also donate to Pleuropulmonary Blastoma. It's a children's uh, lung cancer. And also, um, we're a green company. We do conserve and we use aluminum bottles, and they are BPA-free lining. And that also preserves the CBD oil in the vodka as well. Wow. They've pretty much done I'm it all. I mean, I... <laughs> yeah, we've got one left. Yes. Oh, I almost about. forgot. Did bring us one I was so excited. Here. These are like all my one. favorite words. Well, this is the Amsterdam Mule. And okay. these oh, can be made with ginger ale or ginger beer in, uh, in your vodka. And... I like this. This is my favorite. <laughs> I love the Linda Perks. This is delicious. Oh. Oh. So this is ginger yeah. beer and just the vodka? Yes. That's it? Yes. 
Wow. wow. That's two ingredients. We can do this, Joey. Yes. I love this. Mm -hmm. This is so good. You can be so creative. I don't creative usually with like it. drinks, but this one I really <laughs> <Yes>. like. <laughs> mm. Well, I have to say, first of all, saying that it's a healthier choice makes me happy from the beginning, but that it's local, that it, um, it's Florida based, and supports a good cause yes. is reason enough for me. For more information <laughs> on Old Imperial Mystic Vodka, you can visit now brands.com and you can check there to see where you can taste it right here on the Sun Coast. Thanks, Fallon. Coming up next, a chamber music preview from La Musica Festival.